Hi, in this video of HTML, we are covering a bit different kind of tag that is a frame tag. Basically, frame tag can be used in a parent HTML page where you want to put multiple HTML documents. Exactly. In this particular web page, we will not have a body, rather we will put a frame set tag and inside that frame set, I can actually divide my single screen into multiple windows. And in each particular window, you can load a different HTML page. So as it is mentioned here, it is used to divide your browser window into multiple sections. Each section will be used for loading a different HTML document. All right. And since it is for the laptop or desktop, if you're working, it's fine. Like you have at least 14, 13, 15 inch on your depend on your laptop size. But if you're working on a tablet or in a mobile device, this one is not that suitable. But here we'll just focus on the basic of HTML. So we'll not be that much technical. So let's see how to use this frame tag and how to start splitting your single window into multiple. So let's start the frame implementation now. So here in this implementation, as you can see, there is no body in this particular page. So what I'll do, I'll start classifying each and every frame out here. So for starting the implementation of frames, what I'll start with, I'll start putting the frame set. This frame set is basically the root element here, which will start making the frames out here in this web page. Now here, as you can see, I started with frame set and the way I'm classifying here is rows. All right. So that means I'm going to classify this complete page into the three different rows. That is first at the top will be of 25%, then 50%, and then again at the bottom, it will be 25%. So right after that, when I will plan like what particular page I want to display in each of the frames, I will have to go sequentially. Means the first frame tag which I will use here will be for the first classification that is for the 25%. Then it is about 50%. So the second frame tag here will do it for 50% of area. And third one is again 25% where it is about the third frame tag. In case if your browser doesn't support with the frames, then in that case, I will put a tag called no frames. And if it is not being supported, you will get a message that your browser does not support frames, but mostly all the browsers nowadays supports the frame. So let's save this document and come to the browser. Let's refresh it here. And here you can see that there are some classification. All right. The reason why I'm not able to see anything because I have not put any source inside. Remember, we will not do any designing or any other things inside this frame here. We will just classify the frames into the multiple rows or multiple columns. Now, if you want to display, definitely you want to display some pages inside. So here in SRC, either you can continue with some predefined pages from the World Wide Web, or if you have designed some and you want to show that you can come to this SRC. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just showing you the existing pages, right? So it is tutorials point dot com slash html let's in the first page first frame i want to show html tutorial in the second i want to show html5 tutorial and in the third one i want to show css tutorial all right so let's save it come back and i'm refreshing it and here you can see that in the top frame it is html all right the complete tutorial then it's html5 at the main frame right here and at the last it is the CSS all right so this is how you can split the frames in the rows manner similarly if you want you can do it in the column basis so for that I will say frame set calls initially I said 
frame set rows but now I said frame set calls since it is columns it will be like left center and right all right it's just a name for the reference and the tutorial which I'm going to show is the same so let's come back here and refresh it now you can see it is shown in vertical positions in the columns basis all right here is your menu you can click all right similarly here it's HTML5 and here it is CSS so this is how you can start making it on the basis of columns now suppose if I want to make some more modifications like I want this column this third column and in the middle column in the bigger column I want to split it on the base of two rows all right so for that what I will have to do is rather than putting this frame here I will put another frame set tag frame set rows this time all right rows is equal to 50 percent comma asterisk I can also put asterisk so the remaining one will be assigned to the second row all right so let's close this frame set first and since I have this divided this second column into two rows again I will put two frame tags for that all right so let me just copy this one I'll paste it here I will say HTML5 let's name it top and the second one is bottom all right let's put some other tutorial here let's say javascript all right so you can see this is html5 this is javascript html and css all right so this is how you can start customizing your frames and you can just make the things more logical the way you want to split the windows out here with the help of frames